All right, so here we have the hummingbird's body and nose and what's going to be their tail. We already pre-made the wings. Um, if we're gonna put eyes on it, we take the risk of uh, using a different color and maybe not getting the eyes completely perfectly uh, placed. So what I like to use is this piece of copper tubing, very small diameter copper tubing with a holder. And when the time comes, I will heat up the glass and press this on each side of the bird's head to make an impression that will look like an eye. And as long as I do that right, um, it'll look good. Uh, the good thing about this is if you press it on there on one side and press it on the other side and you get it slightly off, you can also preheat, push this on there and you can adjust a little bit. So this is a good tool, copper tubing. Um, I got my wings and um, I got two of them relatively the same size. Um, yeah, one's a little bigger than the other, of course. It's always that way. I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take one of them right here, and I'm going to attach it onto the bird's uh, let's call it a shoulder. And using a smaller flame, got to be mindful not to uh, heat up the glass too much because you don't want to burn it. And um, you want to put it on the side of the bird's body. On the side of the bird's body, you want to give yourself some room to be able to put a little ring in between the rings. A ring in between the wings. <laughs> Um, all right, so here's, here's the, here we go. I mean, I'm, I'm slightly off center with the nose, but we can fix that later. But the thing about um, these birds, you gotta be able to hang them. So what I like to use is a pre-cut ring and I use 10 millimeter Pyrex tubing, heavy wall or medium wall, and I pre cut them and then I put them in an etching solution. I don't use hydro, I don't use hydrofluoric acid, it's too dangerous. I use uh, ammonium bifluoride, less dangerous, takes a little bit longer, but you get the same effect. So when you cut these rings on a cutting wheel, you're going to get. Um, you know, either diamond or graphite, or not graphite, diamond or a silicon carbide, depending on what you're using. Um, you gotta etch that stuff off a little bit. So I'm gonna place this ring right in between the two wings. And we will, we will deal with melding that in a little bit later. Just like we will deal with making the eyes of this bird a little bit later. But for right now, we want to uh, keep the whole thing warm. Make the wings look pretty good. Consider what kind of eyes we're going to put on this thing. And definitely fix that beak. Because the beak is no longer in the center of the head, it's off to one side, so we gotta fix that. You can see what our, what our issue is. It's close, but we can do better. All right, so uh, now that I'm thinking about it, I am gonna melt that ring in a little bit better than it was. So I don't have to worry about that later on. You don't really have to heat these rings too much because you got so much heat going on, they're just going to you know, melt by themselves. Just the proximity to the heat is gonna take care of your issue. Okay. All right, let's consider the wing, let's consider that ring between the wings done, and let's make the wings look pretty good, because right now they're, they're kind of static. We're gonna give them a little flow, so we're gonna heat the whole thing up 
Just stretch them a little bit. Flare them out a little bit. There's the one ring, that looks pretty good. The other one, you know, it's really just a matter of getting the, uh, the point on the end nice and thin and not, uh, you know, not bulby. Whenever, making, whenever you're making anything in nature, whether it's a plant or an animal, you got to have a lot of curves. Nothing can be flat or uh, straight. Everything has to be curved. Because in nature, everything is curved. But it's got to be symmetrical. So sometimes you just have to heat and reheat. What I'm doing right now is I'm heating up the, the beak and I'm kind of just getting it centered on the bird's head. Now the beak is going to end up being the uh, handle as we do the tail. Um, you, you can put feet on it if you want. If you are, there's two ways to do it. You can attach a piece of rod on each side of the body where the leg should be and heat it and pull it up. The other thing you can do is you can just grab it with a pair of tweezers on each side, which is what I'm gonna do, and just make a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of an impression. You don't need to have much. You don't need to have much to make it look like feet. You don't have to get all fancy. We're not making an eagle with talons, although we will tackle that at another video. Right now I just have some, some nubs for legs. I will pull them out and make them a little sharper um, on the next video. But you know what we've got so far is we've got the wings, we've got the nose, the head. Uh, I'm at the eight minute mark, so I'm gonna stop. Uh, you don't want to be watching me all day long. You want to have like little clips. So that was three and we'll have to do number four to finish this up.